good evening. Hey, I am Katie. I am one of the literacy ladies, one of the founders of the Literacy Camp, and I'm so glad to be here with you tonight. So welcome to our Monday Mom Chat. Uh, we hang out here every Monday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and share tips to help moms um, and dads, grandmas, whoever you are, you're welcome here. Um, but to help you as you help your kids learn. So Chris and I are the Literacy Ladies. We, if you haven't hung out with us before, a little quick background, we um, help inspire literacy success in kids through high quality instruction, but by making learning super fun. And we love sharing tips with families to help you make learning really easy and fun in your homes um, in a way that's gonna inspire that real, real literacy success for your kids. Help them to be great readers and writers for you to see them succeed in school without you having to really do a lot of work. We're gonna give you the hacks that make it easy and fun. So that's what we're here for. That's what we do here every Monday night. We try to jump in quick. We know you are busy parents, and so your time is valuable. We understand that. So we'll give you some quick tips every Monday night that you can implement and use in your home right away. So tonight, we are gonna talk about how do you get your kids to love reading? So some of you, you have mastered this already. High five to you. We hope you grab this tip and just add it into your tool bag, right? Your toolbox. Um, but those of you that are saying, hey, how do I get my kids to love reading? They do their homework, but I kind of have to make them. They're not asking me to read books. I'm making that happen, right? You're kind of pulling teeth to get them to do that. 20 minutes of reading maybe every night. It's not coming easily in your home. So we are going to give you the secret sauce, the very best tip we've got. You're gonna be like, really, it's that easy? Yes, it is that easy. It is the foundation of a, a lot of the literacy work that we do in the literacy camp with schools, teachers, families. Um, this is it, you guys. This is how we get kids to love books. When they engage in love books, then we can do all kinds of magic, right? but we've got to get them loving and engaging in it first. This is the trick. Are you ready, parents? Choose books that they actually want to read. I know, it's that easy. Um, choose books that your kids will love, that they want to read, and get them reading those books. Now, yes, they still have to do their reading that maybe their teacher sends a book home um, that they have to read every night or other assignments, but first engage them in reading with books they want to read so if you haven't said hi yet in the comments will you please say hello in the comments tell us where you're watching from we love to know if we got some michigan moms here like us or if you're watching from somewhere else just say hi tell us where you're watching from and we'd love to hear your thoughts on this tip too so um how many of you are already mastering this you are using books in your home you feel like your kids are excited about reading and how many of you are feeling like, man, how do I do that? I've got to get them enjoying books a little bit more. It's still a little bit of a struggle. So I'm going to give you some examples. I've got a just turned six-year-old in my house. Actually, it was his birthday today. Um, so six-year-old in my house, and we have to get him loving books, right? He's a busy dude. And as a reading specialist, of course, I wish he was just born with a love of books. Um, and he does love books, but it's because we put a little bit of work in. I'll be honest with you, right? So we we do we do that easy work that we're sharing with you. Um, but in my dream world, right, I would go to the library and I would pick the most beautiful picture books with this beautiful language, the kind of books that, um, you know, Chris and I love to choose them for mini lessons and all of these things that we're doing when we're teaching. But... They are not always the books that are going to get my kids super excited about reading, right? Let's just be honest. Not every kid is going to sit and fall in love with all these beautiful books and language. I do read those to him, I promise you. But it's because we first get him access to the books he really wants to read. And also I'll tell you, sometimes they're not that high quality. Sometimes they're books that, especially as a reading teacher, but like literally just as a parent, my husband is like, oh, do I have to read another Paw Patrol book? Sometimes they're books you don't want to read, parents, um, because they're not that great. But if your kid is excited about reading them, that's what matters, right? That is what matters. That's what gets them engaged. That's what gets them reading. And then you can read all the other stuff. Then they read the homework they have to read for school um, more proactively 
after they get hooked on reading to begin with, and they do that by reading books they want to read. Are you ready with my examples? I didn't bring you examples I should have of like the dream books that I wish I was reading to him every night, right? But I, we do that every once in a while, right? I sneak those books in and we do those books, but the books that get him excited about reading, five minute Paw Patrol story collection. Um, not my fave, I'm not gonna lie. Nothing against Paw Patrol, but they're not like the most high quality favorite books in the world. But my kid loves Paw Patrol and he will sit for these books and he thinks they're so amazing. So this is like a great read aloud. I'm still going with the Paw Patrol, don't you worry. The um, Step Into Reading books are really good ones because they have the different levels on them. We can dig deeper into the levels at another um, live another day, but basically, I just realized you guys can see the painting. Oh, over here. Ladder. <laughs> there it is. Oh, we've been painting this week. So I just realized I still have the painting ladder in the background. This is life, right? This is the real parenting life mixed with business. I'm going to hide that painting ladder for you. Anyways, the step into reading books, uh, we love them because you can go grab, you can just browse and grab whatever level you think is best for your kiddo. Um, but so these are like a step one and they're that high interest, high interest text they want to read. So you can see just a few words on the page, really, really simple for him to read. Um, this is great, like kindergarten, first grade text for your readers. Once that you feel like they're reading those really easily, this is the thing that gets them like, hey, sit down and do your 20 minutes of reading, right? Because they're reading super fun books that they want to read. Also, side note, sometimes they read them more easily because they have background knowledge. We can dig more into that in another live too, but they have background knowledge. So I'll give you an example of that in one minute. I'm just showing you. Now we got a step two um, of Paw Patrol 2. I could keep going with the Paw Patrol, you guys, for a while. I'm giving you more examples. Your kids like different things than my kids, but you know where I'm going with this, right? PJ Masks. These are the ready to read. So it's like a different brand um, and same type of thing. Pretty simple. This one's a level one and it's got, you know, super cat speed. The like real easy reader, um, but with words like, so this page says Connor becomes cat boy. So cat boy might've not been something my um, emergent reader would have already been able to read on his own, but because he loves PJ Masks and he has the prior knowledge, he knows that sentence because they say it in the show all the time, right? Connor becomes Catboy. I wish I didn't know that, but I do because we watch a little too much PJ Masks around here every once in a while, right? So because of that, then he's able to read this text easily and with confidence and he thinks it's fun, which all translates to reading is easy. I can read, I have confidence. Reading is fun. That is the power of putting books your child wants to read in their hands. I am telling you, you read aloud all those beautiful books all day long, and that is fabulous, and it does all kinds of amazing things for your kids. We are on board with all of that. But if you want to make sure your kids love to read, get some books in their hand that they're excited about, that they really want to read. This is the strategy, you guys. It's that simple. And you can tell I'm going with theme here. These are all like TV and movie, sh movie like, characters, right? This one's my favorite. Daniel Tiger songs. We love all the Daniel Tiger songs. So now we have them in a book. This one's so cute. This one I do highly recommend. I'm, I'm going to say, um, okay, I'm still going. We've got a lot of books in our house like this. Uh, how to train your dragon books. These are the kind of books we got him this for Christmas last year. And he opened this book as a Christmas present and freaked out. Like, Oh my goodness, this is so exciting. And my reading teacher heart melted because that's what we want our kids to do when they open books. He did the same thing for his birthday because on his bed, we had laid out um, these couple books, uh, Luca and Raya. So they're like favorite movies. I promise you we don't watch that much TV. It kind of sounds like we do around here, <laughs> but you know what I mean. The things that your kids are excited about. And so same thing for his birthday. He was thrilled about the books. Um, that's what we want to happen, right? We want our kids to open books and be like, oh, I got new books. 
And so that makes my heart happy. Again, it translates into reading is fun. I'm a confident reader. Reading is easy for me. And those things all help our kids go really, really far in the long run. So this one, because he knows the movie, he knows the characters, I didn't even know how to pronounce some of the characters. And so um, he was helping me read. I was saying, what's this character's name? And then he would tell me the character's name and he would find it on the page and read it. Whereas before, he may have not um, been able to read that word if he didn't have the prior knowledge. So that's that added bonus that it increases reading confidence and word recognition because they have prior knowledge about a topic. I chose movies and TV shows as my example here, but you could go down any avenue with this. Maybe it's a nonfiction topic. Maybe your kid loves soccer. Um, you go invest in the soccer books. Or your child loves snakes. Then I have way too many snake books too because that happens in our house. You love snakes, you go buy the snake books. You have a funny kid, you get funny books, right? You go get the joke books. And here's the thing, we're not saying you have to buy all kinds of books. You can get great cheap books online, but you also can uh, utilize your local libraries. We are huge proponents of that. And I will say our local librarian, and I think most of them roll like this, um, is so amazing. You don't even have to do the research. You can just go into the local library or email them or whatever, however it works for your contact with them and say, hey, my child loves snakes. Can you help me find a bunch of really easy snake books or second grade level snake books? Your librarian will pull them for you. You don't even have to do the work, parents. Um, go in and say, hey, my child loves how to train your dragon. Can you help me out with some how to train your dragon books? And most libraries work within a statewide system that if they don't have that book, within their own library, they will order it from anywhere for you. So we're in Michigan, we use Melcat um, here in Michigan, so we can go online and I know how to do it myself, but seriously, you don't have to even know. Just ask your librarian, hey, we're looking for books that are all about Mickey Mouse. My kids love Mickey Mouse right now, can you help me out? And they can go and they'll help order those books for you. And if they don't have them in their own, well, they'll find them for you, but if they don't have them in their own library, they will order them from another library. So that's the really simple, easy trick. If you're already doing it, then we love it. Pat yourself on the back. But if you need something new in your toolbox to get your kids to love reading, go find some books they want to read. Um, weave it in with all the other really good reading, but get them some books that they want to read and they're excited about reading and you will see some magic happen. Um, we promise you. So thanks for hanging out with me tonight. I hope that was helpful. I know it was. Hopefully, if you haven't done that before, you're going to go implement it now. And then if you're looking for more tips like that, we would love for you to come join our email community. Um, we've got a free parent guide on our website, theliteracyladies.net. If you go there, there's a free parent guide. It's filled with tips just like this, but it's really cute because, you know, Krista put it together. It's adorable. Printable. You can print it hanging on your fridge. It's got all kinds of ideas. Really simple, just like this. Um, for reading with your kids, getting them writing, getting them doing homework more easily, setting up a space where they're going to sit and do their work more easily. All those really easy tips for parents. Um, you can grab that parent guide on our website at theliteracyladies.net and also join our email community there where we send tips to you weekly and freebies and all kinds of things to help you as you help your kids learn. You also should join, if you haven't already, our parent Facebook group where it's an excellent community of parents and educators working together to help support um, parents as they help their kids learn. So all kinds of great tips, resources there as well. And you can find that on Facebook at The Literacy Ladies. Just type in The Literacy Ladies for Parents of Elementary Kids and you can join our Facebook group there and we would love to have you. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Be on the lookout for some news from the Literacy Camp. I've got my camp shirt on today. It's coming soon, we promise you. It's going to be epic summer 2022, and we've got some big news coming soon. So uh, news about the Literacy Camp coming soon. All right, thanks for hanging out with me. Have a wonderful rest of your evening and week, and we will see you next Monday. Have a great night. Happy reading.
if you're still hanging out with me, my um, close button has gone missing.